From spending time meditating before his performances, to going to lands far away just to train with special coaches, here's how Carlos Yulo trains for his performances. The Filipino gymnast left us speechless with his swift movements and flawless routines. But as you'd expect, there are a whole lot of factors at play there. Yes, what he eats, how he trains, and his determination play a very important role. And don't worry, we will be talking about all of this in just a minute. But did you know Yulo leaves everything behind before his big performance and focuses on keeping a clear mind? From the looks of it, all of this is working fine for him, because he wouldn't have a few medals from the World Artistic Gymnastics Championships otherwise. Mental preparation is just as important as the rest of it for Yulo so he makes sure to get a good night's sleep whenever he's got a big competition coming up. This helps him think about what he needs to do and what's expected of him. Apart from this, the man also likes to go over his routine again and again in his head, and he does it until he's lost the will to think and just wants to sleep. Sometimes he thinks so hard that he starts feeling nauseous. Is it just me or is Yulo a completely different level of overthinking? But there's a very good reason behind all of this. With Carlos imagining the same things over and over again, it all gets imprinted on his brain. So when he wakes up, nothing feels more natural than the routine he's about to do. Because his body knows what to do without him actually pushing it. And get this, going through his night routine has actually helped him a lot, even when he's sick. Because his body already knows what to do. And clearly, all of these mental and visualizing exercises have come in super handy when collecting medals. But it's still something that champs gotta fully master. In fact, did you know that according to Cynthia Carrion, the president of the Gymnastics Association of the Philippines, the gymnast's mental edge was the determining factor for Carlos's wins? According to him, he still needs to secure himself mentally and emotionally. As for the rest of the factors, the Filipino is all covered nutrition-wise with a qualified team on his back. There's definitely no doubt about his skills either. But his mental and emotional abilities are in need of some serious strengthening. Don't worry though, the champ's on the case. And he's even got a designated sports psychologist to help him out. They're currently working on controlling his reaction to all the pressure he faces. But other than that, I'll go on a limb and say Yulo's got it all under control. But as the competition grows tougher, his routine also suffers a similar fate. With the 2023 World Artistic Gymnastics Championship on his mind, Carlos is thinking about kicking it up a notch. He and his world-famous coach, Kugimiya Munehiro, have plans to increase the level of difficulty in the execution of all of his routines. That means he'll be focusing twice or thrice as much on all aspects of his training. I wonder how that will look. Because if you've caught his recent performances, the champ's already on the top of his game in the floor exercise along with vault and parallel bars. He's also gotten a silver medal in individual all around at the 2023 Asian Championships. But if he really wants to earn a spot in the 2024 Paris Olympics, Yulo needs to focus on how he takes on the rings and high bars. Best believe that most of his training from now on will be focusing on that. And in order to do this, the champ needs an environment that completely fulfills all of his requirements. So he'll head to Manila's Gymnastics Association of the Philippines facility. But that's not all. The champ will also travel to Japan for some of his workouts, just to get out of his comfort zone. Talk about dedication. Did you know that the gymnast has a proper philosophy when it comes to his training? He's not only looking to improve his execution, but he wants to work on his own style as well. Coach Munahiro likes keeping the champ on his feet, making sure he doesn't get too comfortable. And it's been like that for quite a while now. When the gymnast was just getting started at 16 years of age, he traveled to Japan to continue his intensive training under the Japanese coach. The mastermind behind this plan was Karian himself, who also took the boy under her wings when he was only seven years old. Did you know that the coach saw potential in the young gymnast as soon as she laid eyes on him? She decided to put him through some serious training to make him the best in the world. Of course, things were super hard for him in the beginning, and to top it all off, he was alone and was facing communication problems too. But it paid off really well, didn't it? Oh, and did I mention, all of his training helped him understand the importance of patience. 
You know how athletes usually want to have it all, and they sign up for more than they can handle? You'll be happy to know that Yulo is not like that at all. Instead, he's a one-day-at-a-time kind of man. Now, with all these years of training under Munihiro's supervision, the Japanese coach is well aware of what the Filipino needs in his training. Just recently, he shocked Yulo's fans everywhere with a beautiful front handspring double pike vault. The duo is also working on Kasumatsu-style vaults. I guess you could say that before the Paris Olympics, the two will focus on gaining big skills. And yes, a clean form's always a priority. The champ also recently showed off a triple backpike, letting everyone know that he really meant business this time around. Here's something interesting. Being close to his family is also a big part of the young gymnast's training. And this also explains why he wants to relocate his training camps. Yulo has been training in Japan for a while now, to the point that he's fluent in the language and calls the country his second home. But with the way things are going, it feels like Yulo wants to pack his stuff up and move back to the Philippines. Cynthia commented that Japan's helped Carlos a lot with his training. In fact, he's even learned a lot of things his competitors can only dream of. But his happiness plays a super important role during the champ's training as well. It's pretty obvious he'll perform much better if he's happy. So right now, Cynthia's on the case to help Carlos shift his training sessions to Manila. Because the 23-year-old is happy whenever his friends and family are around. The gymnast himself mentioned that staying home boosts his personality and character. And he also gets to train with his team. Which is always a good thing, because he can also help them improve. And while his responsibilities might end up increasing if his training shifts to Manila, at least he'll be home. And yes, learning new techniques is always good, but Yulo's at a point where his management should focus on his personality and well-being. After all, don't you think he's done with the most difficult stages? Over the past seven years, the champ spent most of his time in Japan, learning how to jump high and tumble with precision, spending hours and hours in the gym without any distractions. While in Japan, he spent most of his time at the Ajinomoto National Training Center in Tokyo, the hub for big-time national-level athletes who come here for rigorous training. This also includes several gymnasts who've won gold medals in the Olympics. But with Carlos doing so well in his career, I bet the training center has already added the young gymnast to its wall of fame. His time in Japan really helped him improve as a gymnast since Yulo hardly had any close competitors in the country. But at the training center in Tokyo, he had to put in 10 times as much work just to stand at the same place as his fellow trainees. On top of this, the young champ was actually losing motivation in his early days. I won't blame him for that, since the training centers back then were terribly maintained. And that's not even the worst part. His country hadn't even competed in the Olympics for 50 years. Looks like the champ got the better end of the deal. So there you have it. From going to lands far away just to train with special coaches, to spending time meditating before his performances, that is how Carlos Yulo trains for his performances.